wife is familiar on our job, my job, we usually have a uh, Christmas uh, dinner and a party at uh, Michael Jordan's, a very expensive restaurant. And um, when I go there, when we go there, I should say, you know that you're sanctified when nobody wants to sit with you. Yes. <laughs> so we end up get sitting right with the owner because the owner has no choice. That's what's left. And uh, <laughs> I realized that. It's like, why? They don't want to be with us. But then I realized because on that table was the smokers, the weed heads. The alcoholics, yeah. all them, and they knew good and well they weren't going to be comfortable sitting at the table with us because they know that's not my lifestyle. Sanctification, amen, will set you apart. When I remember when I got saved, reclaimed, I'll say, not saved the first time, but when I got reclaimed, the Lord started telling me, all my friends disappeared. Amen. I didn't separate them. They separated themselves from me. They didn't want to be with me. I was saved. Amen. It's, it's good to be sanctified. Amen. As Mother said, amen, when we do this, amen, it makes puts us in a category that we're not of ourselves, but we are of the Lord's. And we take it very serious. I don't know about you, but I'm not satisfied. That's right. Amen. Amen. If you're satisfied, you got a problem. Yeah. I know we used to sing this song that I loved that my mother used to love us to sing. Uh, I am so satisfied. Yeah. Well, she said, with my Savior. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. There's a difference. Yeah. I'm satisfied with my Savior, but I'm not satisfied with myself. Yeah. Amen. I'm not content with myself. Yeah. I strive to yeah. be better. I want to be better, even, amen, as an elder or pastor, or who I am as a servant is what I say, because I don't look at it as a position. I look at it as a servant. I want to do more. Yes. Amen. That's why I love it when they sing the song, Draw Me Nearer. Yes. Nearer, Lord. Oh, blessed Lord. I, I desire to be closer to the Lord. And certainly, yes. and we thank God for that word. And we, at this time, if you don't know the Lord, no way you can be sanctified, as Mother Morris said, is you have to first, amen, be adjoined to Christ first, amen, because you can't be sanctified without that, amen, you must have Christ, amen, that's why he came for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth on him should not perish, but shall have everlasting life. It's another thing that gets me, I hear people say, save the world. Y'all hear me say that? Yeah, I wonder how in the world is people talking about save the world. We would be in trouble if we don't be separated. Jesus himself said it, didn't he, in the Gethsemane? He said, I don't pray for them that are in the world. I pray for those that thou has given me. That's who I'm praying for. I'm not praying for the world. I know a lot of people talk about we need to pray for the world. That's not scripture. Amen. That's not scripture. And Jesus said to himself, I don't pray for the world. I pray for those that thou has given me. God already knows who you are. So the gospel's only hit to them that's lost. Okay, see how it is? We get, get stared up and we start wanting to preach. <laughs> that, amen. No good altar call. Amen. If you ain't saved, you need to be saved. Amen. I'm going to do like the old school. Amen. If you don't have Christ, amen. You're in deep trouble. You're in deep trouble. And those that don't have Christ should be running right now. With all that's going on in this world, you should be running. There should be an urgency to be saved. We invite you to come. We'll pray for you. Anyone sick? Amen. The elders. We got a lot of elders up here. My brothers. Got Elder Anderson. Elder Chambers. Bishop Elder Carney. <laughs> We got Elder Jesse Carney Jr. We got Minister Morris out there. Hey, Amen. If you can't get no deliverance tonight, you in trouble. Hey, Amen. You can get deliverance because the word says, call on the elders of the church. Let them lay hands, anoint your head with oil. Lay hands on you and you shall be covered. And that's not just sick. Hey, Amen. That's just those that's not only sick in health. 
This is more than health. This is sick with situation, sick with circumstance. That's why it says you shall recover. We invite you to come. Amen. I don't push and I don't pull. Amen. No one. God bless.